Hey, Lucy. Hey. I uh, got here as soon as I. Oh, where's so Serena? I... Um, she's at school. Gail's picking her up. She should be along pretty soon. What's up? Um, there was an explosion. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Some uh, car blew up outside of the recovery room. Pal, it was even Ian. I. Uh, you sure? Yeah, it, it was Ian's car, and they both died in the explosion. <sighs> you know, I didn't know uh, him very well, but he, he saved your life. He was a friend of yours, right? Yes, he was a very special man. And Eve, I mean, she, she was terrific. She was always, you know out there she had so much life and she's always embracing and, the world. you know maybe that's what she did a little too much of embrace not just life what are you talking I about i think that's what killed her i think that's probably what killed both of them hi livy again i know i should have called first but when chris told me all i knew is i wanted to see you uh, uh, come in. How are you? I mean, I know how you are. I just, I don't, I don't know what to say. I wish I did. There but... is nothing to say. I can't, and I'm so sorry. That's all. I really mean that. I'm just so sorry. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Eve! Are you all right? Eve! Eve, wake up! Hey. Rise and shine. Come on, I need your help. What's, what's uh, going on? Don't ask questions now, please. I need your help here. Uh, your fingers are loose. Right. Try it on, Tammy. Okay. Uh, oh. Wherever we are, we're not staying. Whoever's responsible, oh. we don't want to meet him. There, go. Okay, get mine. Get mine. Oh. Oh. Get up, come on. Oh. We gotta get out of here. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. <laughs> Ow. Uh, okay, okay. Ian, my my wedding rings are gone. We don't have time to look for them now. We gotta go. Come on. Okay. Sit down. Get out. Okay. Okay. Put your hands back. Put them back. Mm. Uh. Hello, Ian. It's been some time. Long time. Much. No, Ian! No! 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 Oh, Ian! Comforting to know that you can still depend on some things in this ever-changing world. Uh, and Eve. Oh. You're even more beautiful than your pictures. Come on, Eve's dead, and, uh, I mean, I, I know you never liked her from the minute you met her, and you always given her sort of a hard time. Well, you, you know what? Now I realize I was treating her the way she deserved to be treated. Then I guess I saw a different girl. Eve was not faithful. Lucy, I, I... Oh, 
You're angry. You I mean a lot of stuff has happened to you this year. I, I... I'm just tired of it. Don't you see? This is another horrible thing. I'm so tired of being sad and angry all the time. No, but you got a lot to be angry about. I mean, I, I, I think a, a lot of your anger is still somewhat directed at me for the things that I did wrong. I don't know. Do you, you want to slug me about it? I don't know. Will you no, I know that won't make. That's silly. I know. <sighs> then why don't you hug me? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. I just can't believe this is happening. I can't believe they're gone. Even Ian are gone. I can't believe they're dead. How can Eve be dead? I don't understand. Eve's dead. I uh, keep expecting Eve to walk through the door any minute. I guess we can't do anything about that, can we? I just, I feel like such an idiot. You know, you always have the perfect thing to say, just what I need to hear at just the right time. And now that I'm here, I don't know what I I talk a good I game, thought. Libby. I just talk a good game. It's my job. But no one knows what to do when it comes to death. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I probably shouldn't have come. I just thought that because, well, maybe because, because um, you're my daughter. I'm really sorry. I should probably leave. Livy. Don't go. Stay. Please. I can't believe Eve and Ian are gone. <sighs> Something like this happens. And it makes me realize that a part of me has never grown up. I mean, even with everything we see at the hospital, in my heart, I still believe that everything's going to turn out okay. I mean, everybody I know, they find somebody to love who loves them back, and they, they live happily ever after. I guess a part of me hasn't grown up then either. At least Eve knew what it felt like to have love in her life. And Ian? You never really got a chance to know what it feels like. That's not true. He found somebody, Gabby just before all this happened. Ian fell in love. Hard-headed fool. Although I have a feeling you would do the same thing again if the occasion arose. <clears throat> oh, sh wait, 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 lie still. Lie Eve, still. Okay. <clears throat> lie still, lie still. You may not have a concussion, but you've got a pretty deep gash, okay? What are you using? Soap and water. It's the only thing I could find in this place, in this Oh. thing they think passes for a bathroom. Welcome to my world. Uh, uh. I'm sorry you're here. You know what I wish you would tell me? It's who your friend is. The guy who looks like he's straight out of a really bad spy movie. What's his name, Ian? How does he know you? And better yet, how does he know me? You can find out whatever he needs to. He's a monster, Eve. He's a walking nightmare. And his name is Harris. And once upon a time, I thought I'd kill him. Serena, listen, um, see, it was an accident. Eve was in Dr. Thornhart's car, and the police believe somebody was out to hurt Dr. Thornhart, and Eve got caught in the middle of it. Caught how? Serena, the car, it, it blew up. With them in it? I'm so sorry, sweetie. 
I'm so sorry. But what about Kevin? Well, he's, he's gonna be sad, you know, like like you and me are. I wanna go see him. I wanna go see him. Uh, if you wanna go see Kevin, okay, fine, we can take you. Can we stop by the firehouse on the way? There's something after break. I know it'll help him. chocolate. I, f I figured you must have like it because... Because we have a whole cupboard full of different kinds. Every time Eve goes to the store, she buys... She bought chocolate. I know you don't like her, but, you know, you give her a chance and... Changed my life, Livy. I mean, I know Eve's not perfect. I, I know all too well how exasperating she can be, but that is when she's not being completely irresistible. You actually tried to kill Harris? I thought I had killed him. How do, how do you know him? I met him at a dinner party in London. He's introduced to me as a, a well-known philanthropist. So he's he's really rich guy. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a multi-billionaire. What he's really after is unlimited power. I had to run into him a couple of times before I saw what kind of a man he really was. And then every time I turned around, there he was on the other side of a deal I was trying to make for the program. Doctors without limits, right? Right. I tried to get around him. I did. What happened? You know I can't do this. No, right Ian, now. please, you have to. <sighs> please. Explain all of this to me. So Eve was your patient? Yeah. It's kind of a crisis counseling thing. It's a long story, but all the interns had to see me. I guess it wasn't easy to keep that doctor-patient distance. Not once I got a look at those legs and that face. We, uh, we started out as friends. Eve's an incredible friend. She listens better than anybody. Doesn't matter what you say, she hears everything. Go on. It was the most amazing little village in the world. An African Shangri-La. Until the virus came, Deadly virus had attacked the children. But I came up with an antidote. And I swear, I moved heaven and earth to get the supplies we needed. And then finally the call came. The plane was on its way. Children would live. What happened? Harris hijacked the shipment. Oh, God. No. Yeah. What happened next? How did you get the shipment in time? I didn't. I got one bead for every child I lost. One bead. So I would never forget them. Her eyes, most of all. I tried to paint them once, but there's just no brush stroke or color. All that compassion and kindness and 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 all you can do is love her. That's all. Just love her. There was nothing I could do. I held them in my arms and I watched over them until they slipped away. And they looked so confused, Eve. And they never said a word. There was no blame. 
wasn't your fault. I promised them, Eve. I promised life to 13 innocent faces, and I lost them all. And if you're free for this weekend, I know this little place that we can <laughs> go. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Mm, come here, sit down next to me. It's good that you're here. <laughs> <laughs>